everybody. It's Deborah Ross. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Just wanted to hop on just for a minute and say hey to everybody. Um, let's see. Let me cut a light on here so maybe you can see me a little bit better. I pray you're having a great day, and I pray that, uh, that you're just really seeking the Lord during this time of craziness and uncertainty in our world. Um, you know, there's a lot of things happening in our world that's bringing a lot of fear and panic and uh, probably anger and um, just unrest. And, and, and this kind of filtrates into your home. If you're not careful, you can find yourself arguing and fighting with your spouse, with your children, you know, with people that are very near and dear to you um, just because of just your nerves being on end and just, you know, things happening in our world today. But I wanted to share with you today that um, that I've got a new website up, and this website is called saveitmarriageministry.org, saveitmarriageministry.org. And if you will go to that website and click on, um, you can find a wealth of resources that will just really make your marriage better. So um, if you go to this website, you're going to find testimonies, you're going to find books, you're going to find videos. I actually have a virtual Bible study that, it's a Bible study that I've been teaching since 2010 at my church, and we've seen many, many marriages uh, restored, many healed, many just revived, and many just um, just took it because they just wanted to take it just to make their marriage better. So, but it's called the, it's a virtual Bible study. It's the Save It Marriage Bible study on the Save It Marriage Ministry .org website. So you can actually purchase that course. It's eight lessons. I'll tell you about what's in those lessons in just a minute, but I have a lot of free resources on there as well. There's testimonies, there's PDF documents, there's uh, lots of free stuff. There's ways to connect on there, all kinds of things to help you in your marriage and to help you uh, really just keep your sanity in your relationship in your home life um, for any season but especially during this season of uh, so much going on in our world today so I want to encourage you to click on there save it marriage ministry .org. click on there and check everything out um, watch the videos get the free resources order the books and I really want to encourage you to take the class because the class is powerful. I mean, I have seen since 2010 what these lessons have done, you know, in the, in the lives of the people that I've personally taught at my church and at different um, retreats throughout the U.S. So you want to be sure to take, take this course. There's eight lessons, and I want to get, just kind of go over some of the lessons with you. Um, the first one is um, God is for you. God is for you. And, and you really have to get this down in your spirit and understand that God is for you. He's for your marriage. And so that first lesson is really just... Um, centered around helping you to really understand how much God is for you. Because so many times I think people get confused and they think, you know, well, maybe God doesn't want me in this marriage or whatever. But God is for your marriage. He's for you. He's for your family. He's for your marriage. Um, he actually says that he hates divorce. He does not hate divorced people. He hates divorce because divorce hurts people. So the first lesson is God is for you. God is for your marriage. The second one is what men need, what women need. So, you know, I think so many times we miss what our spouse needs because we're thinking like a woman or we're thinking like a man, and of course, they're not. <laughs> so, so in this lesson, you're going to learn exactly what your spouse needs. And so, you know, because as Christians, we want to... Um, we want to be a servant, you know, a servant to one another. Okay, so I want to prefer my husband and my husband prefer me, and that's going to make a great relationship when we practice preferring one another. So what men need, what women need, lesson two. All right, lesson three is about mutual submission. You know, so many times uh, the Bible does talk about uh, women, uh, the wife submitting to her husband, but the Bible also talks about in Ephesians that there should be mutual submission. So we're going to talk about what does mutual submission look like and how does that play out in a marriage and really put to rest, you know, uh, attitudes, I guess you would say, between men and women of, you know, well, I'm not going to submit to him, and him saying, well, woman, submit to me. That's what the Bible says. So, so we're going to put all that to rest and explain what mutual submission is 
and how we can really love our spouse the way Christ uh, tells us to love our spouse. And he tells us that this is an example of the church because he compares marriage to the church, the bride of Christ and the bridegroom. So mutual submission. And then number four is how to be intentional, how to be intentional about your marriage. You know, I think it, we miss this because we don't understand that there is a war going on. The devil is constantly trying to kill, steal, and destroy people, families, marriages, uh, cities, states, countries, and worlds, okay? The devil is on a mission to kill, steal, and destroy. And if we're not intentional about making our marriage the way God intended, the devil can creep in. And he can wreak havoc if we just leave a little opening. So we don't want to leave any openings in our relationship. We want to close the door tight and be intentional about our marriage. And that's lesson four. Lesson five is exposing dysfunction. And this is part of my Root Digger series. Um, root Digger is where we basically get, we don't, we don't sweep anything under the rug. We dig down deep and we find out what is the true cause of the situation. What's the true cause of the problem. And so in this lesson, it's, it's basically um, exposing dysfunction. And so what we do is we bring to light exactly what it is. And we talk about all the different dysfunctions that basically the devil is trying to bring into the marriage. We expose it. And because once we expose it and everybody sees okay, I can pinpoint that that's where the problem is, then we can get the healing. So in lesson one, two, three, four, five, lesson five is root digger number one, exposing dysfunction. Okay, in lesson number six is root digger number two, and it's called breaking the curse. So in this lesson, we, we not only have exposed what the problem is, but now we're going to talk about how to break the problem, how to dismantle the problem, how to get rid of the problem, how to banish the problem once and for all so that we can have a great marriage. And that is breaking the curse, root digger number two. And then root digger number three, which is actually the seventh lesson, is the battlefield of the mind. And this is about pulling down strongholds. So, you know, um, when we come into the marriage, we each bring baggage. We bring baggage in our minds. We bring baggage in our soul. Our soul is our mind, our will, and our emotions. And so we bring baggage from our childhood, from our families, you know, from, from different offenses that have come our way, different hurts, different relationships that we had had prior to our marriage, whatever the case may be. And so we bring that baggage into the marriage. And so in the battlefield of the mind, we're going to really just tear down false thinking. Any thinking that goes against the knowledge of God. So what we're going to do is we're going to put God's truth up and we're going to put the lie up and we're going to banish the lie with God's truth in lesson number seven. And then lesson number eight is probably one of the most important lessons, I believe, and it's forgiveness is a process because the Bible commands us to forgive. Forgiveness is not an option, it's a commandment. And so no matter what, you know, even if you divorce your spouse, which we're going to talk about that because God hates divorce. He doesn't hate divorced people. He hates divorce because divorce hurts people. So God's will is for people to stay married. But anyway, so even if you were to divorce, let's just say, um, that doesn't solve the problem with forgiveness because God has an x-ray machine and he can see your heart. He can see your heart and he can see straight through you. So while your mouth can be saying, oh, I forgave, you know, God can see. And so we're going to talk about forgiveness is a process, but we, we don't want you to get a divorce. We want you to stay married um, and we want you to forgive in that marriage so that you can make it until death do you part. That's, that's God's best. That's God's best is to get to the end of your life, get to the end of your uh, life as a married couple, you know, before you die and you look at each other and you say, babe, we made it. We made it. We made it. And the only way you can make it is through forgiveness. You have to learn how to forgive. You have to practice forgiveness because you are going to get offended. I mean, if you're, if you're married five minutes, you're going to get offended. It's just human nature. We all hurt each other's feelings. We all do dumb things. We all have dumb little isms, you know. And so we're going to get offended. And so we've got to learn how to forgive, how to get over it. How to put our big boy pants on, you know, and just get over it and forgive. 
because it's a commandment from God. So I want you to go to saveitmarriagebiblestudy.org, saveitmarriagebiblestudy.org. Check out all the resources. There's testimonies on there of people that have taken the class or have come to our retreats. Um, um, I think there's even a, a testimony from a pastor on there where we spoke at a retreat for their church. Uh, there's books, there's, um, there's Bible studies, there's, um, there's the virtual Bible study that you can actually purchase with all these eight lessons that I'm telling you about. I think they're about close to an hour each, and they're very, very deep and very detailed. So you want to take a lot of notes. You may even want to watch each lesson two or three times because it's deep, 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 deep. And, I, and it's, it's proven material. It's proven material that has been taught for 10 years already. So I'm real excited about this. There's PDFs on there, um, PDF downloads. Uh, with more information that you can, you know, print off and read or just read on your computer, you know, whatever you want to do there. There's free stuff on there. There's free uh, PDFs and free resources on there. And there's also ways to connect with me. Of course, you can connect with me here on Facebook, but there's also other ways as well so that I can uh, help mentor you in your journey of having a great marriage. So I encourage you to check out saveitmarriageministry.org and uh, order your resources today. Okay, God bless you, and I will be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.